Nanny Upstairs and Nanny Downstairs by Tommy DePola. When Tommy was a little boy, he had a grandmother and a great grandmother. He loved both of them very much. And he and his family would go to visit every Sunday afternoon. His grandmother always seemed to be standing by the big black stove in the kitchen. His gran great grandmother was always in bed upstairs because she was 94 years old. So Tommy called up Nanny downstairs and Nanny upstairs. Almost every Sunday was the same. Tommy would run into the house, say hello to his grandfather Tom and Nanny downstairs, and then he would then go up the back stairway, stairway to the bedroom where Nanny upstairs was. Get some candy, Nanny upstairs would say, and he would open the lid of the sewing box on the dresser and there would be candy mix. Once Nanny Dancer came into the bedroom and helped Nanny upstairs to the big mirror's chair and tied her to and so she wouldn't fall out. Why will Nanny upstairs fall out? Tommy asked. Because she is 94 years old, Nanny downstairs said, I'm four years old, said Tommy said, tie me in a chair too. So every Sunday after, he found the candy mint and the sewing box on the dresser. Nanny downstairs would come up the back stairway and tie Nanny upstairs and Tommy in the chairs. And then they would eat their candy and talk. Mommy. Nanny upstairs told him about the little people would out, watch out for the first one with the hat with the red feather in it. He plays with matches, she said. I will said Tommy, there he is. She said, over by the breast and coat. See him? Tommy nodded. When Nanny Downstairs ha had finished her work, by the big black stove and bake a cake to eat before Tommy went home, she would come back upstairs. Now Nanny Downstairs would say, would say as she united Tommy from the, his chair, he, we must all talk take our naps. After their naps, the Nanny downstairs would comb out Nanny upstairs' beautiful silver white hair. Then Nanny downstairs would comb and brush her own hair. Now make the cow's tail, Tommy would say, and she would twist her hair and pin it up on top of her head. One time, Tommy's older brother came into the bedroom and saw Nanny upstairs with her hair all down around her shoulders, she, and he will run away. She looks like a whip, he said. She does not, Tommy said. She's beautiful. Time for ice cream, said his grandfather Tom, and Tommy and his brother went with him. And sometimes their brother and their uncle Charles down to the ice cream store. When they got back, it was time for Nanny upstairs to have a snack. And Tommy would help carry the tray of milk and crackers up the back stairway. One, once Tommy's father took movies on, of the whole family. He took movies of Nanny Dancers and Nanny Upstairs, and Tommy stood in the middle. One morning when Tommy woke up at his own house, his mother came in to talk to him. Nanny Upstairs died last night, she said. What's died? Tommy asked. Died means that Nanny Upstairs won't be here 
anymore, Mother answered. Then they went to Tom and Nanny downstairs house, even thought it wasn't Sunday. Tommy ran up the back stairway before he'd even say hello. He ran into Nanny's upstairs room. The bed was empty. Tommy began to cry. Won't he ever come back? He asked. No, dear, Mother said softly, except in your memories. She will come back in your memories whenever you think about her. From the, from then on, she called Nanny Dancers, just plain Nanny. A few nights later, Tommy woke up and looked out his bedroom window at the stars. All of a sudden, a star fell through the sky. He got up and ran to his mother and father's bedroom. I just saw a falling star, he said. Perhaps that will be a kiss from Nanny upstairs, said Mother. Mommy, a long Nanny. time later, when Tommy had grown up, Nanny up downstairs was old and in bed, just like Nanny upstairs. Then she died, too, and one night... When he looked out his bedroom window, Tommy saw another star falling gently through the sky. Now you are both nanny upstairs, he thought. The end.